Today, I'm doing pretty good. Today, we're doing another store tour live. So we're going to be walking all around Atlanta Brick Co., looking at all the cool sets, minifigures, and pieces for sale, and also answering and having a chat in the, the comments section. So please leave a comment and let us know what you're looking for, or if you have any questions or want to talk about something, let us know. All of our friends are already here. We've got uh, Chris McMurker, Nexus to Zach, T Valkyrie, Morgan, a bunch of our friends here. I see Dawson's here, Josiah, AZ Dave, Grumpy J. Already dropping the emojis too. Good to see everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. And I'm going to try and talk for as long as I can today. I, I was out yesterday because I had a little bit of a sore throat, so hopefully I'm able to hold up throughout the hour long store tour. I think I'll be fine. But yeah, Daniel did the haul yesterday morning, and it turned out great. There was a bunch of good stuff to look at. But here we're doing the... Oh, there's Zion Cinema. Good to see you. It's been a while. There's Elliot Productions as well. But yes, so we're going to be walking around the store looking at stuff. We have got a lot of stuff in stock right now. There's Plump Daddy. Good to see you, Plump Daddy. Atlanta sets. These little Atlanta sets are really cool. I love the... Hammerhead Shark Dude. There's Brad P. Good to see you, Brad P. Put that back up without it falling. Good. All right. <laughs> I, I'm a little notorious for knocking stuff over, so try to avoid it. There's Goat Bro. Hey, it's Carter's brother, Colton. Oh, hey, Colton. Good to see you. Can you do Bionicle, please? I won't be for long. Okay, Zion Cinema. We're right over here. We can look at Bionicle. And there's a few cool things in there. Whoa, look at that guy in the back. He's expensive. That's awesome. I think he's $499.99, which is $500, so that's crazy. There's another one back there, the blue one. Got the original Makuta Warrior. It's pretty awesome. Some smaller sealed Bionicle sets. Brick Virus is here. Good to see you, Brick Virus. Hello there, Mark. Was this a one-hour delay, or I have a completely lost track of time? Oh, so Brick Virus, we are on uh, Daylight Savings Time, I believe, or we just got off of Daylight Saving Time. So there's an hour shift in uh, the United States for a lot of places, and it shifts either... I think we shifted an hour later. So um, right now, it is currently just a little after 3, uh, according to our time, but we have a shift in the fall, and it shifts back in the spring, so that might be that. Yeah, Daylight Savings. Morgan knows about it, so... Yeah, that, so that, it could be playing havoc with some of the time zones uh, in, in other places if they haven't switched at the same time or, you know, so it's very interesting. We gained an hour, this be crazy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll go with that, yeah. 1 p.m. in Arizona, yep. So yeah, we, uh, it's, it's different all over the world. All we know is we're starting at what we believe is 3 o'clock, so. Um, but it, it could be any time of day, depending on where in the world you are, so. Somebody said, let's look at City. We can look at City now, too. There's a, quite a few good Bionicles, but nothing... There's a couple cool ones, I will say, because a couple of them are not as... Uh... Most of the ones in here are actually pretty collectible. So, Have you seen the new $550 Hulkbuster? Unfortunately, I have. I'm not a big fan. Uh, I think that a lot of Marvel sets the past few years have been great, but that is not one of them in my mind. It's just a little too expensive and a little too weirdly shaped for that price it should be the best looking set ever for 550 dollars it should be amazing like look at the new eiffel tower stunning huge beautiful perfectly scaled you know it's uh i'm not a big fan of the hulkbuster anyway i could go on and on but i'm gonna try to avoid griping and being grumpy because this isn't the grumpy store tour this is the happy store tour do we have lego optimus prime we sure do zion cinema let's go Look at that. As soon as we've done scanning uh, city here, got some Arctic bases, volcano exploration bases, police headquarters, got firefighters. Might even have a few hospitals around here. I see some space exploration down here as well. Some more mining sets. Let's see. We got some stun spikes up here. More space exploration. Let's see if we got hospital. Here's a hospital. I want to see a Lego hospital. Hold on. There you go. Lego City Hospital. This would have been my favorite set as a kid. That was always my favorite. Lego Island, the video game, had a cool hospital side quest you could do. Let's 
Georgia almost passed a bill to no longer do daylight savings times. Don't know what happened. Yeah, I guess it didn't get through because we're still doing it. Sad. Let's go look at Optimus Prime. And did you put more figs in the city? I don't think so. Not since the last live stream. But we'll go check it out regardless. Uh, I think I was still working on a few ones that were a little trickier. So. There's Optimus Prime. Very nice. There's one in the box here. It should be retail. 179 your store is bursting at the seams. It sure is, T Valkyrie. It sure is. Here's a few more Optimus Primes right here. On top of Angie's donation bucket for Snow Fund Me. We'll see you, Zion. Thanks for joining us. Darth Watu is in the city. There you go. I'll have to go find him now. Let's see here. Let's go over there and see. We were talking about. The city figures. Oh, look at that. There's Doth Watu. He's one of the most evil Sith ever. He's hanging out with Boba Fett and some stormtroopers and Darth Vader and all the guys in there. Let me turn on the lights so we can see what it looks like. Hold on. Let's head back over there and check out Darth Watu. No daylight savings times in Arizona. That's pretty nice. I wish we didn't have to mess with it. With such a modern society, it would be annoying to always switch back and forth. Look at that. So he's new. That's a member figure. We've got um, T Valkyrie. We've got, I put in, uh, what was his name? I want to say Davis, but that's not right. Anyway, the little, uh, uh, I almost said Nindroid. The almost little droid from Nexonites. That Grumpy J left me glued to my desk one time. There's Brad P over there. And we've got Brick Mom VA over there. That's a new addition. And then I think that um, BJ got moved up uh, over by the town square up there. That Elvis figure I put in there, because I like I think it'd be funny if Elvis was still walking around. There's Monkey. There's me, Mark, because I am also a member. And then you've got uh, Morgan as well. Dennis, that's the word. I, I, not Davis. Dennis. Close enough. Yeah, Dennis is doing good. He's trying to get into the uh, Star Wars cantina, but he might not be old enough. So, yeah. And then Builds by Matt is here. Good to see you, Builds by Matt. I hope everybody is having a good day today. Thank you, Matt. You too. Let's see. Do you have any of the large Disney castle? Ooh, I don't think we do. Let me go check on that, but let's check on Western sets too, because I think that uh, Scott was asking about that. So. And I'm glad that Scott Robinson's in the chat here too. Any Western sets? I don't think we've had any new ones since the last time we did a stream, which was only just a few days ago. So we did add some weird little city sets. I do see a diver set in there now too. A few more pirate sets. Castle, pirates, old town, but no western, as far as I can see. Is that a western there? No, that's a pirate set, I believe. There's one that's kind of hiding back there. I think it's pirates, based on the instruction colors. Just watched the Atlanta Brickco Halloween vid, and quick question. Was the judge Justin or Kyle? I can't tell apart. I have no idea. I'm guessing it was Justin, but it could have been Kyle. It's hard to tell. You can watch more of them on their channel, Mirror Twins. It's pretty funny. Ooh, Mark, the latest man in the Lego City. <laughs> exactly. Good minifig, Morgan. Yeah, Morgan's got a cool sick fig. Everybody does. It's just taking me a while to build them because I've been busy or uh, out sick for one day yesterday. Mark, did you get my minifig? I did not yet, Gary. I need to double check on that. I, we might have gotten the picture, but I'm, I haven't built it yet if we've gotten the picture yet. So. Awesome store tours as always. Yeah, so what's funny is Joe is actually out of uh, out of the office for a couple days as well. So we are just out of sync. It might be a few days before we're able to get back on track with building figures. But uh, hopefully we'll get them rounded up for us soon. Uh, Robert's here. Robert Goodwin. I'm guessing out getting out of the Lego game, the prices on retired sets and current sets are getting out of hand. I'll keep buying for my son, but as for me, I'm done. Oh, sorry about that, Robert. I can understand, though. A lot of sets can be pretty collectible and expensive. It's always okay to take a break if you have to. Created it 
it in store Saturday. Oh, okay, Gary. Well, then we should have it somewhere around. I should be able to find it for us. Have you seen my figure yet? I don't know. Did you put your figure in, Josiah? Oh, I stepped away when showing the sig figs. I will rewind. There you go, Morgan. I will bring my city fig once I finish my anatomy test on Monday. There you go. Let's see. If Josiah put his figure in here, will I have seen it? Where did Josiah's figure go? Josiah? Hmm. I know there's another Watu up here, and I'm guessing that's it, but I could be wrong. There you go, though. Let's see. Brickfires had a question. Did you see the new Ninjago leaked sets? I did not. I'll have to go look at that. Colton says, Minecraft, Minecraft. We can look at Minecraft. Let's go look at Minecraft. We've got quite a bit of Minecraft in stock right now, so it's very nice. If you like Minecraft. There's the big buildable Steve. That's pretty fun. And Big Fig with Parrot. I like the, the Parrot's very cute, too. Got the Jungle Temple. You've got the Sky Tower with the Pesky Phantoms. You've got the First Adventure, which is a very cool set. I also like the Yellow Mushroom Cow. It's pretty cool. Ocean Monument. You got the Fortress. You got the Mine, the Llama Village. That's a newer set. Jungle Tree House, the Witch's Hut, the village way up in the corner. No worries, Colton. I got the message. It's all good. And you can comment more than once for sure. Just be careful not to hit the bu -bu 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 If you do it more than like three or four times, then we got a problem. So. so lots of good Minecraft. All the Minecraft sets are online, so you can go to atlbrick.com and shop them. Get whatever ones you need for Christmas. So. There's Corvette 72. Good to see you, Corvette. Hope you've been doing well. Mark, could you give us a full detailed description of every single city set? <laughs> oh, no. I don't think so, Brickfires. That sounds impossible. I know Dawson's asking about Battle Brick, so we'll go look at that, too. Josiah said, I sent an image making sure if you got it. Um, we haven't been able to check emails in a little bit because Joe's been out for a couple days, but I will try to catch up with everybody as soon as we... Uh, Get that. So. Let's see. I see you have a sealed UCS Imperial shuttle on your website. Do you have a uh, built one in store? I don't think we have a built sealed, uh, excuse me, a built Imperial shuttle. We've got the one right up there with the other UCS sets. But uh, I haven't seen a built one like that in a while. Only a few sealed ones. So. Spam my army, spam, insert evil lap. Oh no, what are you guys doing? It's a Nexo storm, what are you, no, no, we're not doing any Nexo storms, stop it. Do much for no Nexo November? Yeah, I did no Nexo for no Nexo November, that's the point. No, they're dropping the Nexo emojis like crazy. Alrighty, anyway, <laughs> you guys are having fun with that. Uh, yep, no problem. NP Swifty. We do have a built roller coaster though, so if anyone needs this, it's pretty awesome. Oh, there's Raymond. Good to see you, Raymond. Thank you for joining us. Five more next. So December is upon us. Yeah, it's only a few days till December. I think it's the 15th of November now, so we only have a few days left of no next of November. Is there a custom black Imperial shuttle? There is to say it was actually over here. Let's go quickly check out that, and then we'll go over and Look at uh, Battle Brick. So right up there, you're good, you're good. There's a black Imperial shuttle. It's very cool. It's a custom mock. That one's $200. Very nicely done. I'm not even sure the story behind it. I'm pretty sure it was traded to us by a customer. So. As Willem would say, Mark and Nexo sitting in a tree. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not going to go there. All right, let's look at Battle Brick for Dawson here. Build challenge. Make knights, kingdoms, figs into Rockham, Sockham robots. That's Galador cool. There you go. There you go, Chris. That would be a fun build for sure. 
I think I'm going to include some Galador references in my Nexonite mock when I finally make it. Right now, rock graders are taking the precedence in my building time, but one day, one day it will be amazing. Almost as amazing as all these really cool Battle Brick military kits. And all these are on atlbrick.com as well, so you can check those out. As well as all those awesome figures, which are very nicely restocked by Jacob and Vogan. And other employees here, too. I have the Imperial Shuttle Tidarium. That's a nice set. I think we have one in stock right now, too. Any Ninjago City sets? That's a great question, T. Valkyrie. We've got the very nice Ninjago City Gardens up there. That should be retail price because it hasn't retired yet. You've got the Technic Trilogy. It's very nice Technic sets. Gary owns a couple of these, I believe. So he's our Technic guy in the chat, usually. We've got uh, Sandcrawler here. We've got the Obi-Wan Jedi Starfighter. We've got the Republic Dropship ATOT. Dino, De Dino Defense HQ from the Dino line. The Tantive 4. High Interceptor, the Imperial Shuttle, which we talked about earlier. We need more likes to unlock the Nexo Armor. Yes, you do, Colton. That's the only way you're getting it. Get the Imperial Imperial Star Destroyer, the Rebel Blockade Runner, the ATST. I almost said ATET. That's different. You got the uh, Adventurers Sphinx set. Oh, you're welcome, T Valkyrie. My wife just finished building the Large Technic Heavy Duty Wrecker all by herself. That's a heavy duty set there, Brad P. Good for her. Got the original ATAT. -AT. You got the motorized ATAT. -AT. You got the Y Wing Attack Starfighter. You got the TIE Fighter Collection. UCS Death Star 2. Got the Millennium Falcon. The Porsche 911. Sydney Opera House. The Cafe Corner. You got the General Grievous Sculpture. You got the clone turbo tank with the Clone Wars style figures. You got the Disney train and station. That's a nice set. That's going to be very much out of stock come Black Friday and Christmas. Can we see CMFs? Absolutely. They're right below here. Can you go and ask Angie about her winter village? Um, she just left a little while ago for a doctor's appointment, so she's not in right now. But uh, she'll probably possibly be back this afternoon or just be out for the rest of the day. So I don't think we're going to have a chance to talk to Angie, but it is going well. She has been busy with a lot of things right now, so it's not as forward progress as she would like, but she's still working on it. So How is everyone in Florida after the hurricane? I hope everyone's doing good, Dawson. We'll, we'll have to see if they respond. I asked about Pharaoh's quest sets. Oh, sorry. Next must have missed your comment. I don't think we have any right now, but we'll, we can go over and look in a second. Let's look at CMS for a second, though. Got all the way from series one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two. So even up to this series we have in stock. Some of these are already pretty collectible, though. It's pretty amazing. Lots of good figures. Oh, look at that. The Tournament Night is already $44. What? And the Viking, $48. That's crazy. How much for the Nutcracker? Let's see. Is he one of the newest ones? Because we only have a few of the newest series. Angie's still working on those. But, uh... I'm trying to remember what series the Nutcracker's from. If somebody knows, let me know in the comments, but... I'd love that Disney train to go around my Christmas tree. Absolutely, Scott. That's what I'm thinking. Any TMNT sets around? We can check on that brick virus. Hold on. Is it cold down there in Noonan? It was freezing up here in Alpharetta. Yeah, it's pretty cold in Noonan. Maybe not quite as cold as the north side, but it's still pretty pretty miserable weather right now. Grumpy Jay and I are both in Florida, and I'm pretty sure we both survived unscathed. That's good, Brad P. We would be very sad to hear that you guys had suffered damage. So. Still recovering from Ian more so than Nicole, to be honest. There you go. 
And Dawson's asking about Brick Arms and Brick Mania. We have a few of those, but uh, they're gonna be up here. So let's go look at uh, those up here, past the t-shirts. We got the F-22 Raptor set, which is very nice. We got the, I think that's a Russian battle tank, yep. We got the Starship Bridge, which is a really cool set. It's $500 though, so that's a lot of money. It's very cool though. We got another battle tank. I think this is a Swedish tank. Oop, that's kind of a glare. That's cool. Another Russian tank, I believe. And a Vostok. And a police spinner. So a couple cool sets. Not a ton right now, though. We probably have some Brick Mania, over, uh, excuse me, Brick Arms over here, too. Let's take a quick look here. Series 23, I think. Yeah, I think the those have not been put out for sale yet, so it'll be a little while before we see those. So we got some good Brick Arms packs in different styles here. Heavy laser cannon, that's kind of cool. We do need to restock Brick Arms because there's a couple empty or low areas, so we'll be getting some more soon, I'm sure. Yep, Series 23. Yep, that's what it's from. Thank you guys for the help in the chat. Yeah, I'm guessing the Nutcracker is somewhere in the $8 range, but I could be wrong. Where has Joe gone off to? Grant told me he was gone out of town. He still is, yes. We're missing him greatly, but we, we try not to seem like we are. Do you have a Brickmania family truckster? I'm guessing there was some misspelling there, but uh, as far as I know, we don't. A relative of mine visited a Lego store in Hungary and there were no pick brick cups. They had bags for you to put the pieces inside. Is that new? I don't know, Brick Fires. I know that they also had bags in a store in uh, um, Utah as well. And so that's in the United States. So they might be doing bags at some stores. There's Brick Jedi. Ahoy, ahoy. Good to see you, Brick Jedi. Can we see military figs? We just passed over those, Colton. So we might uh, circle back to that later. What was one thing we were talking about here? I think it was DC... And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So let's go look at those. Lego Punisher minifigure. Um, unless Vogan restocked them, I don't think we have any of those right now. Do you have any Lego truck sets? Like, what kind of trucks? Are we talking, like, semi-trucks? Are we talking, like, uh, off-road trucks? We should have most of those in the city. Lego John Wick minifigure. We used to carry those. Hopefully we still have some. We'll see. There's DC characters here. I like that green arrow in the back. He's pretty cool. We're pretty low on Robins right now. We might need to restock some of these. Big first, it has been rumored that Lego's switching over to paper on everything, so that might be true about the cups. That'd be pretty sad. Oh well. We're still getting the Lego. That Speed Racer set was not in the right shelf. Shame on you, Michael or Andy. <laughs> Which one? A speed racer? Did it get put in the wrong section? It probably did. It happens sometimes. It was a set they made for a limited time of the National Lampoon's vacation family truckster, the station wagon car they drove to Wally World. There you go. Uh oh. Thank you, Morgan, for catching that spam. Can we see John Wick's cousin? <laughs> yep, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. You can go watch the latest Tuesday release video, and it'll be right there. Let's see. Where's Ninja Turtles? Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles. We got a couple Ninja Turtles sets still hanging around over here. Not a ton. Which minifig would you want to see that hasn't been produced? Ooh, well, there's a lot of Star Wars that needs to be produced or reproduced because they made it a long time ago. It's expensive now. A lot of clones... Most Jedi needs to be redone again, too. You can never have enough Jedi figures. Um, yeah, there's a lot. I, I think it would be cool to see Punisher, Deadpool, more X-Men, that type of thing. Because it's been a while since they made all of those. Or have never made all of those. So. Missing in action, Joe Emoji. Yep, that's correct. There's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
Let's see, what was the other request? Military figures, we can look at those. And let's look at the custom figures for Dawson too. Yep, people dropping the Joe emoji. He's gone, he left us, he went on vacation. Can't believe it. I guess Joe needs a break every now and then too. There's some Deadpool characters up on the top left, especially Jedi Bob. I hope he gets his own movie trilogy so Lego can remake him. How about Rock Raiders? Oh, that would be good. I'm not too worried because they did make quite a few Rock Raiders back in the day and they're still pretty affordable. But it would be nice to get some more Power Miners, Rock Raiders, that sort of thing. So. Mark, your Halloween costume was hilarious. <laughs> well, thank you, Morgan. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I have a lot of fun dressing up with all that fun stuff, so. Steven had a good time, too. I think everybody had a very enjoyable time overall. So you can see that um, on our channel after the, the stream is done, of course. Oh, there's Cable from X-Men. I like that one. Not seeing any Punisher figures. We might be out of Punishers right now. There's Star Wars over here. Went on vacation during hurricane season. Whoa, interesting. Yep, that would be interesting. Hope everything went smoothly for you there, Nexus. Doctor Who and some musical bands. Everyone did well with the Halloween costumes. Yes, I was very impressed. I thought everyone did a really good job. So. Do you have individual USB light strings, multicolor or flash mode? We probably do, Christmas Breaker. We can look. There's a James Bond figure right there. That's pretty cool. So he looks kind of like the Daniel Craig version. Don't see John Wick anywhere. Hmm. All right, so I think it was Chris McBricker was asking about these lights. So we do have several of these lights. There's individual bricks with battery boxes. Or you can have USB ones. I think these are all battery. There's some USB ones. So I'm not sure if these are online or not. They might not be because I don't see barcode on them. But we do have a pretty good selection of most USB lights here in the store. You might want to email us and see what we have if you're interested. Some of these are flashing, some of these are not. They're going to indicate that by the little F. There is a flashing one. So here's some flashing ones down here. That would flash because you get that little F on there. So that's a flashing one. Or a blinking one, whatever word you want to use. Another blinking light. So yeah. Give us a call, send us an email, however you want to get in touch with us about the lights. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's Geology Joe. Good to see you, Geology Joe. Hope there's no recent earthquakes over in the Bay Area. How much is the, the Tron set? I've never seen it, but it looks amazing. Ooh. I don't know. Is it up there? Did I just pass by it? Yeah, there's one right here. At least two vehicles from it. Looks like the individual bikes are twenty dollars, and I don't see a f uh, complete one here, but it's pretty cool. Geology Joe is here. Did you hear about the new John Wick movie? Yeah, I did, Dawson. That sounds pretty cool. I very much enjoyed the first one, so looking forward to more of them. Not bad, a bit cold, but sunny and nice. No recent quakes at all. <laughs> That's good, Geology Joe. I appreciate your comments on my uh, Rock Raiders video the other day. That was very nice. Glad you're enjoying it. So. Do you have any Ninjago or Crystallized sets? I'm sure we have some of the sets. So, I can do that soon. No worries, Chris McBricker, whenever you're interested. We've got them. Let's see, we've got the, the uh, Zane's Golden Dragon Jet. That sounds pretty cool. This is also a pretty smaller and affordable set. I think it's 35, so 35, not too bad. And these should be pretty much retail because they're still available. It's 45. Some big, elaborate, fancy pieces. I mean, that's a very f scenic and photogenic scene with the golden dragons and the crystallized, and it's really cool. There's this big centaur-looking dude, the Crystal King. 
And this one is uh, $79.99, $80. So we got a couple of them. None of the, the big ones. If I saw one of the big ones in here, I might buy it. They're pretty cool. We do, do have quite a bit of Ninjago in stock right now. A lot of the older ones. Got some over here too, like this one here. Very collectible. But just a few from Crystallized. I don't think we have any of the figures loose yet. So we haven't put out the figures from Crystallized yet. We might have a few in the back. Any Groot minifigs? Let's go look for Groot, Colton. That's a good request. John Wick 3 stunk. I did not like it at all. One, two were great, though. Joe, Joe, yeah, our cold is relative, exactly. Like, California cold is not that cold compared to other places. Yeah, 45 is cold here in Georgia, which is still pretty warm compared to the north. So, Mark, have you bought any more crystals? That sounds illegal without context. <laughs> I bought a little bit of crystals last Friday, but none since then. It's still, it was just a couple days ago, so... Yeah, always trying to buy more crystals. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but they're for my Rock Raiders minifigure build, so it's not for what you might think. So, so you got several Groot minifigures up there. It's like the dark tan one is $15.99, and the brown one is, I can't read the price tag, $14.99. So about $15 for a Groot minifigure. Not too bad. $20 if you want the little cute Groot. So Groot is buyable. He's not exactly cheap, though. Yeah, T Valkyrie always bringing up how cold it is in Wisconsin. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, it's, yeah, it's 34 and snowing. Yeah, that's extreme. That's terrifying for Georgians and Californians alike. Did you know that the Crystal King is the overlord from season two Lego Masters, Masters spin jet suit? Oh, wow. It's supposed to be in the upper 60s here in Florida, Thursday and Friday. I'm breaking out my heavy coat. <laughs> Oh my, any Pharaoh's Quest? Oh yeah, 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 let's go look for Pharaoh's Quest for Nexus, keep forgetting. Let's go double check on that for us here. I'm pretty sure we are unfortunately out of Pharaoh's Quest, however, we did get a bunch of power miners. So, similar era, but wrong theme. So plenty of power miners up there now. Got some Paradisa, Pirates. Divers, Aquazone. I don't see any Pharaoh's Quest right now, Nexus, but thank you for checking. We'll get some in eventually. Oh, we have like a whole Atlantis line up here. Hold on. I gotta pick up some of these. Hold on. That's cool. There's a bunch up there. They're just about out of reach for me, which means nobody can really see them up there. So we got a bunch of Atlanta sets in stock. They're all not too crazy expensive either. Bunch of Atlantis, bunch of power miners. Mine storms, agents, pirates, you name it. Yes, those blue crystals are pure Lego. <laughs> oh my goodness. Lego diner set. Yeah, you don't know, Dawson. Let's go look around. Any Axel min minifigures from Nexo Knights? Nope, we've only got 21 likes. We can't, can't even look at Nexo Knights. No, I'm just kidding. We'll go look at Nexo Knights. DC minifigs, please. We just looked at DC minifigs a minute ago, Colton, but we can circle back if we're able. Let's see. So we got the bookshop. We got the boutique hotel, which is a very cool set, and it's a lot bigger than the last one. But uh, we don't think we have the diner right now. So, sorry about that, Dawson. Let's go look at, uh, I think it was DC, well, DC figures was a request. Axel minifigs from next one. It's DC's on the way. So here's the DC characters we've got in stock. we got a bunch of Jokers, a few Harley Quinns, some Penguins, some Scarecrows. These are all the villains. You got quite a few Batman in stock. We're a little low on Robins. Got a few Wonder Women, Supergirls. A few of the other characters, I see at least one Aquaman.
What's going on, Mark? The Nexo Slayer? There we go, William. Let's see. Got everything except Pharaoh's Quest, huh? So sad. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nexus. Any Alien Conquest? We had like one or two, but not a lot of that either, unfortunately. It's some of the figures, of course. Do you have any? The Police Station Modular, the built one. Let's, we can go look at that in a second. Let's see if we got an Axel minifigure. Not out here, but we might have one in the back, so no axle right here. Hope you're having a good day today at work. Please be safe and be careful. Bye, Mark and Stephen. Well, take care, Dawson. Thank you so much. You have a great day, too. I'm coming soon to the store. Oh, nice. We will see you then. Either me or Stephen will probably be here, depending on what day you arrive. So. There's the next night's or Nexo Trash, as I like to say. Chima, now, that's a good theme. That is much better than Nexo Knights. <laughs> All right. Tell Chris to do what he can to get some Pharaoh's Quest sets at some point. I know, I haven't seen any in a long time. Pharaoh's Quest is pretty cool. Some of those figures are pretty awesome. I think that's why we don't see them a lot, is because they're collectible, and they have great figures, and we just never see them. All right, where were we? Alien Conquest. And that's about it we had for now. Let's go look and see if we have Alien Conquest really quick. Scoot by everybody here. And the Built Police Station. That's what we were talking about. Built Police Station. I just scrolled past that comment. They're right up here over where Daniel's looking around. <gasps> Ooh! Oh. <laughs> there he is. Are you working on another project over here, Daniel? I'm a paying subscriber, so I'm about to put myself in. Oh, 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 can we see that? Let's see. Look at that, it's Daniel! And that looks just like you. You got the Lego-related print t-shirt with the got Lego brick. Got my shoes. Yep. Got my tennis shoes. Yeah, that's nice uh, printed, printed legs there, yeah. that's good. They're dropping the J Daniel emojis in the chat all over, so. Oh. <laughs> That's great, right outside his cinema build. Oh, we haven't shown off the cinema build. Let me turn on, can, can you hit the lights really quick, Dan? I wanna show people. They're gonna be very excited about these. So. Wow. Look how cool that is. That building looks awesome. And you got, they're, they're filming on this, the roof over there because that's, that's where they film all the Pirates of the Caribbean films is on local theaters. Uh, yeah, well, they're they're uh, they're actually doing a live performance. Yeah, exactly. They're they're, they're live filming, streaming. They're filming it while it's being broadcast. And you can even see with this one center building missing, you can see the, uh, the theater screen. You can see the snacks and the refreshments that you can buy, and the candy bars down there in the stairway. It's so cool. And unfortunately, it's already sold. So don't even think about it. <laughs> yeah, but it'll live. It'll live here for. A it'll while. be here for a long time, but it is already sold. I think one of our locals regulars bought it, so, yeah. yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you, Daniel, that's awesome. Of course. Lots of compliments. Is my fig in the city? I'm not sure, Colton, we'll have to double check on that. Um, Joe's been out of town for a couple days and I was out Monday, so we are very much backlogged on where we were on figures. So hopefully we'll catch up with everybody soon. But thank you guys for submitting pictures. Continue to do so if you haven't already, or you can deliver them in person like several of us have, so. Place my fig next to Daniel's. Oh, we'll have your figure chasing Daniel's Nexus. Absolutely. You'll be harassing him. We'll give, give you a baseball bat and you'll just be like, dunk, dunk, dunk. <laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah, the cinema is great. When's the what next whatnot show? We've postponed those for now, but we will be starting again soon, uh, Corvette. It has been a couple weeks since we worked on those, so. Did you see my comment? I thought I did, Dawson, yep. Thank you for attending, and hopefully we showed you enough brick arms and military stuff, so. Mark, buddy, you know I love you, but Chima is not a great <laughs> Oh, come on, Brick Paris. You don't like Chima? Chima's the best. It's the best. Chima's great. I mean, it's like, so, Daniel, wouldn't you agree that Chima, by comparison, is like, a theatrical performance compared to Nexonites. Yeah, you no, know, it's better, right? They're both bottom five. They're both bottom five? Oh, no, no. It's, yeah. I thought Chima was really grown on me. I don't know. It's all, it's all down there. It's like 
minions. Galador. No, Jack Stone. No, Friends are so pretty solid. Minions, minions is pretty bad. Oh. The trolls? Lego trolls? Yeah, I think that's what Trolls I mean. is one of the, the bottom five. We should, hey, we need to do a bottom five Lego set themes here at the store because we don't really cover set themes as much as we should. Yeah. That's a good uh, content idea. Chima is so good and nostalgic for me. Exactly, Josiah. That's what I'm saying. Daniel's opinion is too much. Well, Nexus, you're the one to say that. <laughs> You're like Daniel's antithesis. You're his, his ultimate frenemy. Police modular, yes. Well, let's look at the police modular, Jerry. Blasphemy mark. Nexo is the best castle sub theme of all time. Oh, that's just... That burns, Grumpy J. That burns my mouth as I, as I say it. We need a grant trading card. We sure do, Colton. You're right. So there's the built police modular for $200. It seems to have all the figures. It's a very nice set. You've also got the Parisian restaurant, the detective's office, and the fire brigade right next to it. So lots of nice modular buildings. <laughs> Lego train sets. Let's go look at that, Dawson. That's a good request. We need an Ethan trading card, not Daniel. Uh-oh. What? I thought we need, we need Ethan, Daniel, Grant, probably Vogan too. We need a lot of people. Why? Why? Why not Daniel Nexus? Why? Why? What? Do you not like Daniel? I, I think Nexus. Me. And I Nexus. Be, Nexus know, to Zach. I, <laughs> I mean, he bought your shoes. You think he's? You would be your biggest fan. I mean, it's just, it's so unusual. Nexus is just out for Daniel. Mark, do you have any SpongeBob sets? I don't have any, but the store has one or two. It build a Bob. That's a cool one. We might have some of the smaller ones over there too. I don't personally own any Lego SpongeBob, which is really a tragedy because they're really fun. But maybe if they make some more, I could buy them when they're new. I'd rather buy them that way. So we've got this older city train set, which is very cool. This is like very 90s looking. It's the nine volt track, which is very desirable. It all works. $300. If it were me, I would probably buy this set, enjoy it, but I would also change it out with a different train up there every now and then too. So kind of switch it out and see how I like it. Another older nine volt train set. This is more of the classic design. Need a Steven Fig in the store with a collector card. There you go. We were working on it, but we got slowed up on that. So we need to get back to work on finishing Steven's figures. Oh, his card, it will say harassed by Nexus to Zach on the YouTube channel. <laughs> exactly. Daniel's card will say has many haters. If only they made some more, but we can only dream. Exactly, Brick Virus. Exactly. What's up with crutches behind the front desk? That's for Ethan. Ethan is uh, unfortunately crippled. And he, he knows it. So he, he, He's got a foot injury and he's trying to... Help it feel better by taking it easy on his foot. So hopefully Ethan feels better soon. <laughs> Mark is married to Nexo, so say congratulations to the new family. No, no, William, that's no, no. I'm the Nexo Slayer, not the Nexo Marrier. Sorry to see that. No worries, T Valkyrie. It's it's been for a little while and he's learning to deal with it. Hopefully it feels better for him soon. So Lego City cargo train sets. I'm pretty sure we have those, Dawson. Let's go look. My favorite employees are Grant and Vogan, Mark, Daniel, and Chris. There you go, Colton. It's a good selection. <laughs> oh, man, you guys are crazy. All right, let's go look for Lego City cargo trains over here. We got a lot of Lego City sets, a lot of police stations. Mark the Nexo Destroyer, Breaking Nexo. Yeah, that's, that's my new nickname, Breaking Nexo. Because of my crystal addiction. Cargo train. $400 for this cargo train. Very, very collectible. Very nice. Yeah, we are 45 minutes in. 22 likes. And 40 people watching. So if we had everybody leave a like, you'd immediately make me have to get uh, my Nexo armor on. So...
So there's at least one cargo train. I didn't see any other ones yet. There's a bunch of passenger trains. So that one is retail at 180. That's a nicely priced train right now. Oh, and there's another cargo train. Hold on. Let's see if I can turn it around for us. That's a nice one. That is 280, which is pretty affordable compared to the blue one. My favorite employees are Mark, then Chris, then Joe, then Daniel. There you go. Nick Sonberg. <laughs> oh my. Well, it's not a contest. Hopefully you like all the employees at the store. We all have our different personalities and quirks. So. Everyone at Atlanta Brick Co. is my favorite. There you go, Nexus. That's the good way to say it. Hey, Malister, good to see ya. Hey, guys, lucky to make it. Just came out of a meeting with Ruskies getting silly with missiles. Uh-oh. The Russians getting a little bit aggressive with the missiles. Uh-oh, that's not good. Well, glad you made it for a little bit, Malister. We uh, finished your boat pretty much. I think even the figure was built and all the details are finished. I think we even got the sticker on the back. But uh, hopefully you got some information about that, so. And hopefully we'll see you around soon to pick it up, so. Old Star Wars, new in box. We can look at that. Let's go look at that. I can't choose between the employees, but I have a soft spot for Grant. There you go, Brick Ferris. Grant's a pretty cool guy. I, not, maybe not the best singer in the world, but, you know, he's trying. Let's see. We were looking at... Old Star Wars. Let's go over there. Man, Malister, that sounds a bit top secret for a YouTube stream. Hello. <laughs> oh, I forgot Joe is my favorite. Yeah, Joe's pretty good. He's a pretty good guy. He's very helpful in the store, I'll tell you what. Adding sets online. Filling orders. Very good stuff. Um, we did have an older Luke's Land Speeder here in box. But that's sold recently, so. There's another older one. There's the... Uh, the speeder bikes from Endor. Endor Luke looking pretty cool. Got the older Obi-Wan Starfighter. That's pretty nice. That's not super old, but it is pretty rare. The TIE Advanced Prototype. The X-Wing Fighter. That's an original. That's pretty neat. I'm sure it's not uh, super cheap either. Let's see. 300. Woo! 300 for a sealed one. It's probably because it's uh, over 20 years old, never been opened, yada, yada, yada. Looks like about it that's in the box. I see a few books, a few minifigures, some signed items, pretty cool. Lots of built sets. <laughs> Morgan, don't ban me, bro. <laughs> Nah, we don't ban people for sharing a little too much. It's okay. Obi-Wan's Jedi Interceptor there. That's a nice set. I don't know what the price is on that. It's probably convincingly expensive. Yep, 200 200 for that one. All those uh, older sealed sets can be very desirable. There's another TIE Advanced Prototype. I don't know how we have two of them, but here they are. So, a couple good sealed Star Wars sets. There's a, a bunch up here as well. Most of these are going to be sealed. A few certified and complete like that one. We'll be dropping a video about uh, how we certify and complete our Star Wars sets next Tuesday, so keep an eye out for that. We're also doing a... Uh, I should probably announce that we have a nice change of pace for the Joy of Building for the month of December. Steven and Joe will finish it off for November, but as soon as December 1st rolls around, we'll be having Angie and Randy do a fun Christmas-themed episodes of the joy of building or the joy of holiday building and uh, they'll be building all christmas stuff christmas decorations it'll be a lot of fun so keep an eye out for that thursdays at 6 p.m eastern time check and see what your local times might be to compare to that so but we've got the older java sail barge that was on the thumbnail so that was pretty cool do you sell any lego <laughs> i don't know big virus maybe we do we might have some somewhere if i look in the back maybe
Do you guys have a Rancor pit? I don't think we have a Rancor pit right now. I don't think so. Let's, let's look around really quick and make sure. I see some ships, some AT-ATs. There's Jabba's, or I should say Boba Fett's palace. But just a plates to represent where the Rancor pit would be. No Rancor pit yet, so. And the older ones, I think we're just out of stock right now. Pandora is amazing. Steven crushed it. The custom admiral is also great. Absolutely. That's good to hear, Malister. Thank you so much. We'll have to do a little quick video of you receiving it if you're okay with being on camera. So, If not, we'll just give you a hearty welcome and send off with your beautiful new ship. So. Any new stuff of um, uh, the best theme to ever exist? Blue coat pirates. We do have some uh, pirates, but I think they're red coats. So that might not be uh, might not be exactly what you're looking for, Malister. We can go look at them really quick, just because not everyone's a fan of Star Wars. So joy of building, uh, joy of holiday building sounds fun. It sure does, Chris. I think Stephen will be um, happy for a little break too. He'll be back again as soon as the holidays are over. So. Let's see, we had some pirate sets up here. So yep, a red coats. Oh, there it goes. Let me put this up here. There you go. So we got some pirates up there, just cooking a little fish with some gemstones. And I don't think we have any new blue coat sets over here. There's another pirate outpost, that's pretty cool. Yeah, lots of red coats. Red coats must not be as popular because we still have some. <laughs> Greetings from Alabama. There you go, Jeremy. Good to see ya. AZ Dave says, do you have any Christmas wreath builds? Hmm, I don't think so. There's a little poly bag down here. So there's a small Christmas wreath. Pretty cool build. I'm sure it's not that difficult to make one out of bricks, but there's got to be some sets. I know there's one Christmas wreath set. We might not have it right now, but it's pretty neat. Let's see. How much is the sand crawler? That's a good question. Might have to step back there and look at it. Typically, I would ask Joe, and he would tell me off of his memory, but he's not here today. It's new. The box is a little beat up, but it's 420 for that. So 420 for the classic sand crawler. Very cool. Nexo is better than Star Wars. Anybody agree? Oh no. I don't agree. I don't like Nexo Knights. Mark, I am okay with doing a video with you guys. It'd be an honor to be on screen with Lego Masters, even if they have have to blur my face. Uh, if we have to, we could probably figure something out. If not, we could just maybe do something from the back or something. We'll, we'll figure out something tasteful if you want to. If not, no worries. Just thought I'd mention it. It would be cool to do at least a short video about that. So. Maybe a few minutes we could put it on the channel if we wanted to. We'll talk about it when you get here. If you feel comfortable with it. So. How many Gungans can I buy? As many as we have. We have a lot. We have probably hundreds of Gungans available. You can find them all at atlbrick.com and just type in Gungan and it'll come right up. Got Alan here. Hello. Good to see Alan. Got a bunch of cool Star Wars that's in stock. I have had the honor of being on a live stream to go back to July 5th, 2022 to see the actual Brad P. Sr. There you go. That's where Brad P. can be found, that exact video. That wasn't too far away from uh, Nexo Day, which is another great, you know, official holiday here. I want Gungans and an MTT. Those are some good sets. Chris, uh, a floating python, excuse me. I see Christmas McBricker. Dropping the goat emoji. Next night is the best Lego theme ever. Well, that's an exaggeration, Colt. <laughs> I, I think even like, you know, I don't know, Marvel, City, Rock Raiders, Space, Pirates. There's so many cool themes. How could Next Nights be the best? How about Gungan Youngins? <laughs> Young Guns. Oh my goodness. Youngin Gungans. That'd be crazy. Oh, Dawson seems to be heading out. Bye, Mark. We'll see you, Dawson. Thank you for joining us. 
What's the worst Iron Man minifigure? Ooh, that's a good question, Alan. Let me go look at that here. Hold on. He's on the upper rows up here. Let's see. Well, most of these look pretty cool. Let's see if there's any that look funky. No? Okay, that one might be the worst. So one that's kind of funny is the little Mighty Micros one. He's a little bit funky looking. Another one that is maybe not the best is the bright red one right there. He is not too expensive. I think he's, oh wow, he's 25. That's a little bit more. I don't like that red one right there either. But most of the Iron Man figures are actually pretty sick, so. Overall, Iron Man, pretty cool. The new one in the Hulkbuster, also pretty dumb, just saying. I saw the Halloween costume party video. All hail the Dragon Queen. Darth Garth phoned it in. Yeah, that's right. You're right, Miles, there. Darth Garth was there, but his, uh, his garb was not as detailed as some of the other ones there. Can you do one of those live videos on the 13th of January? It's my birthday. Um, it, it might be pretty close to then. We'll have to see, Floating Python. Iron Man is always cool. There you go, Le Levi. You are in luck since Fridays also have a live stream. So yeah, there should be a live stream on that day if it's it falls on a Friday or Tuesday. So you'll, you'll be in luck there, Floating Python. How much for the OG Jabba's sail barge? Oh, let's go look at that, Zach. That's a good question. Uh, that set was in the thumbnail, so it's pretty cool. That's your birthday too, Zach? That's awesome. <laughs> a lot of birthdays on July, 5th, uh, July 13th, excuse me. So that is, is that 6, 549, so 550 for that one. That's very expensive, but it's new sealed, mint in box, just like it was back in, what was that, 2005, 2004? I gotta check the year on this one, hold on. Two thousand six looks like it's very far away. That's so good for that. There you go, Zach. Hopefully, we hopefully it's a good deal for you. We try not to overprice things here. Okay, wow. Don't ever turn that fan on. Yeah, no. Yeah, that one is off permanently. Sorry, it's a little bright for you guys, but you can see that would be spinning many sets to the ground if that happened. What would a used lighthouse sell for, or is it too early? Um, you could definitely trade it in. It would be probably be a little below retail. So it's probably not the best value for it. If you waited till it retired in about a year or two, it would uh, probably be worth more. But definitely email, uh, not email source, send us a, a trade form request on our website. You can go find it on the buy and trade section. And we can get you more information about specifics like that. Uh, Chris, Mc Chris McBricker. So. Two minutes left. Shout out to my mom who built this with me. She's a trooper for being for me being seven. There you go. <laughs> that was a cool set. I'm glad you were able to get one, Zach. So. No, turn on the fan. Live dangerously. Oh, no. On July 21, I turn 18. There you go, Josiah. I wish we had more X-Men sets. I was just saying that today, Alan. They were asking me what figures need to be made. I said there needs to be more X-Men because like they've only made like four of them. So yeah, more X-Men. That's what we always want. I need a sealed Django Slave one for my birthday. <laughs> that would be a nice birthday present, wouldn't it? Yo, that's Little Vogie. Yeah, Levi. Little Vogie's here. He's sitting at the desk. He's getting work done. And he was uh, the employee of the week, too. Let me show you that really quick. He, he, the people watching will enjoy this. Hold on. Let's see. So not only is Little Vogie working hard at the, the desk here, big man, little bogey, but he's also the worst employee of the week, which is something we do here because we're that cruel. But a uh, worst employee of the week, Vogan Cut, part-time, part-time manager, <laughs> has listed thousands of sets, second best truck, never ever opens his sets, exactly. Will, without hesitation, eat dinner, yes, because Vogan loves his dinner. And then the best employee was Bean Hammock, which is Ben Hammock. Silent but deadly. Built set boss. Underrated Speed Champions fan. Rarely buys anything. Most magical member of the staff. 
So if you know these two guys, the, the pictures look just like them. They got some photos of them from their Facebook page or something and just put them on there. So Vogan's sitting in Joe's chair, bruh. Well, yeah, Joe isn't here today. Vogan's watching the store right now. So, so is Ethan and then Daniel and Chris and me and everybody else. Oh, I'm going to scoop by. Chris working on a trade, trying to ignore the video. All right, we're at 60 minutes, guys, so... Don't think I have any more time for requests, but thank you guys so much for tuning in, having a chat with us. We had several great conversations about all sorts of Lego stuff. And we'll be back again next, this is Tuesday, right? We'll be back again Friday with another store tour. And uh, we'll actually probably have um, uh, some really fun stuff come up here soon. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, we'll see you then. It's because, yeah, because we got the Holiday Joy building. We got Black Friday coming up. We got a bunch of sales coming up for that. So yeah, we'll see you guys. Bye-bye. Have a great day.